I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 332, where I'm going to show you the light filter criteria on data import and how this works. This is a new uh, feature within Quantrix. New meaning it came out within, I guess, maybe the last three years. And I think it's pretty sweet. I have here a basic model where I want to pull in a list of accounts, okay? A list of uh, GL accounts that are like 4.1. And I have over here a list of the GL elements 4 here, and you can see that it's a three-digit code. And in this matrix, I wanna bring anything that is like 41. But if I go ahead and I run an update on this, I can see that nothing is happening. Well, typically in uh, Microsoft SQL Server SQL syntax, on a like statement, I need to go ahead and place a wildcard character in front of my like string. Very good. So if I go ahead and do that, and then I update my data import, I can see that indeed this like works when I have the correct syntax with a wildcard character there. And in this case, that's a percent sign. If I were to turn on my SQL mode, I could see that uh, indeed it's written a where, state, a where clause like I would on uh, writing standard query language in a in a different program or in custom sql right so it's working that way there is an option up here in tools options data data import that says use inferred like syntax in an import filter if i go ahead and hover on this it says use inferred like syntax will allow one or more matches if your user does not use wildcards in their pattern so what this means is that Quantrix is going to actually add the wildcard characters for me if I don't add them. If I go back to my matrix here and I remove my wildcard wild character and I go ahead and I update this, I would still expect to see these departments returning because Quantrix is actually throwing in a wildcard characters around uh, whatever numbers or whatever my entry is here within this input section here. And I can verify that by clicking on SQL mode. And you can see that I then have uh, wildcard characters around the value that I had entered here in this input box. So that is how your like syntax works in Quantrix, as well as that option to under data data import to use inferred like syntax in an import filter. I think this like function within Quantrix is totally rad. And I am so grateful that they put it in there. It really makes this tool all the, all the better, if that's even possible. It just gets better and better. Anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I really hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I really want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... Quantrixauthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.